If you've been playing Season of the Deep for three weeks now, you might be keeping track with a so-called secret exotic fish gun, whatever, and it's here now. It is the Wicked Implement Scout Rifle. To get this, you do have to get all three unique exotic fish implemented over the past three weeks, that being the Savathun Throne World one, the Nessus one, and the EDZ one. Once you have all of these, you can get started on the secret exotic, but you do need to have these before you start or else you just won't be able to start it, so make sure you have them. This is a very, very difficult mission, so I suggest bringing your A game, your best loadouts. I would recommend Thunderlord with Divinity and a bunch of debuff super Troopers, stuff like that, but that's up to you. We'll get to that when we get there. So it's going to be found within Deep Dive. Deep Dive is the nest where this exotic is. If you've been playing Destiny at all within the past three weeks, you might have seen these statues. These are hive statues that when interacted with will glow red and give you a bit of dialogue. You need to have the fish corresponding to the statue to actually interact with them. The first statue of three will be found just before you get into the first encounter in Deep Dive. It is in this little tunnel here. Second one is in a door in the first encounter before you move on through the water. It's in this door here, interact with that. And then just before the main encounter room, the big room, you will find this statue off to the left before the big drop down. You need to activate all three of these before you move forward. If you move forward or you jump ahead, you cannot get back and you have to restart. So this is very important. Make sure you grab all of these while you are going through. Once all three statues are activated and you complete the second encounter, you can move on to this now open door off to the right hand side of the arena. This door will contain three separate statues that all players must interact with their own statue. One statue per person. Once activated, you can head into the water and this force field will come down. Moving through, you're going to see a lot of encounters. You're going to see a couple bosses. The boss's gimmick is upon killing three minotaurs, you will gain a buff that will let you do damage to them for a minute or so. That is your main DPS thing. You're going to need to kill these minotaurs and then go fight find the boss and then shoot him. As you might have noticed, as you're running through, you will have this 10 minute timer ticking down. Once that timer hits zero, you are booted to orbit, just like a grandmaster. And also just like a grandmaster, if everyone dies and you wipe, you will also be sent to orbit. So bring your A game, bring the best loadouts you've got, bring the best survivability you got because death is not an option and you need to go fast. Once you reach an area with a rally flag, you are in the final boss arena. Loadouts I would recommend, precision based weapons. The boss is a tormentor, so he takes higher crit based damage. So things like fusion rifles, linear fusion rifles, LMGs like Thunderlord. Thunderlord's really good right now, and maybe even a div to help out your team with that debuff and that enhanced crit spot. Same thing with the two mini bosses that you fought on your way to this guy. They are all the same. You just kill three minotaurs, you get a buff, and you do damage. The problem is, in the boss room, there is a big maze, so I recommend your team splits up. After a while, though, they will be marked on your HUD, but if you can manage to get them before that pop-up does happen, you're saving a bit of time, which you're gonna really need. For mods, I would highly recommend people run special or heavy finishers with heavy scouts and heavy ammo finders, seeing as ammo is going to be the biggest thing you need. Getting lucky on ammo drops is incredibly important. That's why Thunderlord might be the best for this, seeing as the ammo economy on it is really good. As for supers, I would recommend I would recommend a well, seeing as that's pretty standard. Thread Runner with Star Eater Scales does insane damage, assuming you don't get suppressed. So I would recommend baiting out a suppress slam and then hitting him with Thread Runner. Or you can run Golden Gun or Gathering Storm. Those two work perfect as well. As for Titans, it's pretty standard. Same thing all the time. Thunder Crash with Kuros. Maybe you can run Hammer of Soul if you like Sunspots. That does pretty decent damage to him as well. Assuming you make it through and you kill the boss, run up these stairs and you will find a veiled witness statue and that's your brand new exotic. Now before you leave, if you look above the statue, there will be a pyramid shard. If you care at all, if you shoot eight of these shards within the arena, you'll get a new triumph 
and a bit of XP. So if you care for that, make sure to do that. But that is the secret exotic for Season of the Deep, being Wicked Implement. As a quick overview of the gun, it is a 180 stasis scout rifle with the exotic perk Creeping Attrition. Rapidly landing precision hits will cause targets to become slowed and eventually frozen. And then you have the trait of Tithing Harvest, where precision final blows while creeping attrition is active will create a stasis shard that returns to you. Collecting stasis shards will refill the magazine. So this is a very pickup oriented gun. Overall, it's pretty much the Agger's Scepter, but in scout rifle form. If you wanted to use a build with it, I'll make a quick one for you right now just to use that shard pickup attribute. Now, I'm just going to go over fragments for stasis. I'm not going to go over aspects because that would take too long. But as for certain fragments that will play into the shard aspect of this gun, you have Whisper of Refraction, where defeating slowed or frozen targets will grant you class ability energy. For hunters, this is pretty good for those of you that like to dodge. Overall, it just plays into the general aspect of the gun where you are slowing a lot of dudes. Next on the list, we have Whisper of Rhyme, where collecting a stasis shard will grant you a small amount of overshield. This helps give you survivability during stasis because stasis doesn't really have that great survivability. Because you're always making shards, you're always going to have an overshield. So overall, pretty good. Whisper of Hunger up next will increase the melee energy gained from picking up stasis shards. As you know, stasis shards give you melee energy when picked up, and then you will also get more with this fragment, which is pretty good. This fragment specifically works really well with Whisper of Impetus as it will reload your weapon, leading into this nice flow of getting rapid hits, precision final blows, and then you throw your melee out and then you get the shard back, which gives you even more melee, and you just constantly do that without ever having to reload. As for the final fragment, this is kind of assuming that you're doing a lot of freezing. You can use something like Whisper of Rending, where primary ammo weapons will do increased damage to frozen targets and stasis crystals. Seeing as you're going to be doing a lot of freezing and slowing and shattering, this one's pretty good seeing as the scout rifle is primary, so it's going to do more damage overall. And that will be it for today's video of the Wicked Implement Exotic Scout Rifle. I hope you enjoyed, hope it was helpful. I will be creating a video on the Catalyst as soon as I figure out how to get it. So to stay tuned with that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you know when that video comes out. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, go watch my other stuff, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.